40,000 at Marble Stadium yesterday for Carlton and GWS. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was pretty quiet there for a while. But then, to use that term, they flicked the switch. Their power in the middle of the ground is enormous for the Blues. And they just smashed them in clearance. Didn't get the use of it in the first half. But after half time, they started to get their wheels going. And, uh, Sam Walsh, 17 score involvements. Now, we talk about Sam Walsh uh, in yesterday. Got a lot of ball in the back end. But yesterday, it was all front end stuff. And it was coming out of the front of the stoppage and he was brilliant so too Paddy Cripps 39 disposals and 13 clearances he wound back the clock Paddy Cripps and it was one of the best performances of a one-two punch you'll see and I'll tell you what the club would be just as impressed with their uh, on-ground interview afterwards Sam Walsh and Patrick Cripps that was just class personified yeah I think Patrick Cripps no one deserves a premiership more than him mm. so hopefully for the Carlton footy club that happens this year because that was as good a win as I've seen from any team this year with the challenges they've got with injury which we'll get to but the three key forwards I want to look at because in the third quarter they kicked five goals in six minutes and De Koninger, he's the prototype for me. If you're going to play two rucks and there's some teams that found this out the hard way in this round, one of them has to be able to play forward and De Koning certainly can so perhaps that's a bit of an X factor. I thought Pitnett was excellent when he went into the ruck his second game for the year and Charlie Kerno was inaccurate, had four behinds before he turned it on. And these two, Harry and Charlie, kicked five between them in the third quarter alone, Lordo. Carlton have plenty of outs, so there's no excuses from a Giants perspective, but no Sam Taylor. And you could just see young Alir, he tried hard, but you could see as the game wore on, they were lost without Sam Taylor. And Canilio was out too, yeah, Lordo, and that yeah. affected their dynamics in the, in the midfield. And they may well now be out without their uh, key forwards in Toby Green and Jesse Hogan. So, Lordo, take us through this. You're, you're strong on this. This is the con contact that he made with Jordan Boyd here. Now, in years gone by, what he's done there is fine, but in the current climate, it's not, is it? And, that, and before you get to that, we'll just take a look at Jesse Hogan too in a moment. So that's the slowed down version of, of what Toby Green did there against Jordan Boyd. Uh, this is Hogan on Lewis Young. There's a couple of uh, sort of uh, wayward arms there. And, and again, we've had moments this year where George Shield and Scott Pendlebury have both been able to play the next week despite making contact with the face of Lockie Neal. That one is off the ball there with Jesse Hogan and, and Lewis Young. But back to the, yeah. the Toby Green one. Did oh, he miss he, he, it's unknown, yeah. isn't it? There might have been some glancing blows, but it's not what the AFL wants, Brownie, that no. type of behaviour. No. off But, but the, was, the big was, one is going to be the green. It's unnecessary. Yeah, there was oh, a Mason yeah. Redmond yeah. one that was similar who he got a week for earlier in the year. Uh, Damo, yeah, I've, I've sort of, you know, a year ago would have said, Toby Green can't go for that. Look at the lack of force. He's trying to go for a mark. But you look at what Peter Wright did and... Uh, unfortunately, Damo, he's got to go for the ball in that situation. And he so, so mummy leaves the ground. And, and braces and turns. Right. And, and, and are, you, are you likening that, what you see there? I know there's no two incidents that are yeah. ever the same on an AFL venue, but are you likening what you're seeing here, green on Boyd, with what we're about to see now, and we'll have a look yeah. now, of um, Harry Cunningham being hit by Peter Wright some weeks ago, which, which he got four weeks yeah, for. I am, uh, because I, yeah, everyone felt for Peter Wright in that situation where you are committing, you're committing, but Peter turned his body in that situation. And others are saying, well, what does he do? But unfortunately, you've got to drive your knee through the player, keep your hands up, and you've got to commit and go the for the ball. Were so the impacts are very different. The problem yeah. is, every time we show it, it's in slow motion. Yep. You know, I mean, in real time, as you guys know yeah. better than myself and Damo, point, Tony. You know, what, what do you do? How is Toby Green or Peter Wright, right? And that was a complete injustice for him to get four weeks, Peter Wright. But what are they supposed to do in the split Lord, second Lord, just when said, they're yeah. going... TJ, you've, you've got to make a play yeah. on the ball. Oh, so, yeah. unfortunately, as soon as you take your eyes you, off so, the but ball... But are you saying he had no intent for the ball? No, well, he, no. did it, he did initially, and then at the last minute he takes no, his eyes off the you, ball. You and can't talk minutes. You've got to talk milliseconds. No, it doesn't matter. Is there not an entitlement, though, Kane, in that moment to, to react the way he did? I'm, I'm with TJ on it. I mean, we were with the Peter, Peter Wright one no, as well, and Lordo saw that one. You can't. You've got to actually move. On. And I'm with you all. I'm, yeah. I'm slow yeah. to come along with this, but there is a vulnerable player running back with the flight of the ball. In that moment, the AFL are asking you, as an opponent, to have some duty of care for your opposition in a vulnerable... So you meant to stop? In a vulnerable... So no, right. no, no, you, you, you put your hands up, We're you just, open yourself and, that, and, and do. too bad. And that's, yeah. and that, that's it. You so cannot... you're, you're asking them to look after the opposition, but not look after yes, yourself but, by putting your yes, arms out. because that, he's in right? a vulnerable position. And he so you're has, going to put yourself in a vulnerable because position? Because Boyd has not taken his eyes off the ball. Green has. He's turned and he's bumped and he's got him high. Yes, he wasn't knocked out and that will be in Toby's favour but I think what happens in the end... So are we looking at three or four again? No, no, no. no. Because, what, what because it's not a concussion. One. I think it's one. one right. But see, there, and there again lies the discrepancy with, with Michael Christian's view. Sorry, Chris O, but you know, Michael Christian's view in that it shouldn't be based on the outcome. 
Okay, that is almost carbon copy of what Peter Wright had to endure, or he, uh, Harry Cunningham in that case. But because one was concussed and one wasn't, there's going to be a, a three-week difference in, in the eyes of yeah. you guys. It shouldn't be mm. outcome-based. Well, I think we, you, we all have to move with where it's gone. So when uh, Braden Maynard did his incident, I thought, no, he, there's no weeks for Braden Maynard. The rules were changed so that he get, goes mm. in this situation. But there was a guy committing the last second. He braced himself, knocked out Brayshaw. So that's a suspension now. And, and then I think we, you and then guys we're... need to get your head around the fact that, unfortunately, that is where the game is Okay, well, then we're all going to have now. to get our head around the fact that the game isn't going to look anything like it did two years ago because coaches will tell their players, don't go. Yeah. Well, don't they, go they to actually, the hard They ball. actually are. Yeah. They yeah. actually are at times. Okay, actually, so what's yeah. the game going to look like in five years' time? Well, it still looks pretty good. Touch I mean, football. It still looks pretty good, yeah. yeah. I mean, you and I are got the same view on this. But, yeah, look, TJ, you want to also highlight what Adam Kingsley said post-match about this Toby Green issue. Yeah, he won't be anything in that. He's allowed to contest the ball, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's the thing. He's allowed to launch at the ball? He's allowed to go for a yep. mark, I think. Yep. And if you're running and launching at the ball and you've got your eyes for the ball, you're trying to take a chest mark and you get knocked for a kick against? It was. It was paid. Hmm. It's hard being Toby. Unfortunately, Adam got it wrong there. He, he said he went for the mark. Eyes on the ball went for the mark. He didn't, unfortunately, turn. So I think Adam probably hadn't seen the incident enough when he was commenting on that right. and didn't really read that well. But by the same token, let's not discourage coaches mm. from actually having an honest Absolutely. appraisal, he, albeit a little misguided. With yeah, I think he's disappointed. He, he was frustrated with the day yeah. Toby had yeah. and maybe but, the treatment he gets. But I think in that incident, he got it wrong. But, but it is far better having a coach sitting there saying that as opposed to, I haven't seen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's, let's not discourage that.